cubital tunnel syndrome is diagnosed based on the history from the patient in terms of how their symptoms have progressed and how the symptoms are distributed in the hand. All of the problem is occurring at the elbow, the patient's symptoms usually are experienced down at the hand. And it's important to take a history from the patient to work out which fingers are affected, to work out how long the symptoms have been occurring and whether they're intermittent or permanent. We often investigate cubital tunnel syndrome with clinical examination during the consultation and then need to progress to nerve conduction studies so that we can document how severely the nerve is affected and whether the sensory part of the nerve or the motor part of the nerve supplying the muscles is affected and to what extent. The treatment for cubital tunnel syndrome depends on its severity. In its early stages, when the symptoms are mild and no muscle wasting is occurring, we can try self-management in terms of trying to sleep with the arms straight rather than bent and avoid prolonged bending of the arms. But sometimes patients can't avoid this because of the way they are accustomed to sleep or their jobs and recreational activities. In more severe cases, when there's evidence of muscle wasting, then we often recommend that we treat this surgically to prevent further damage to the nerve and further loss of muscle and function in the hand. This is done by an open operation, which can be done under regional anesthesia without a general anesthetic, and is a small operation where we release the tension on the nerve at the back of the elbow through a small incision. The recovery from this condition is usually pretty quick. The patients go home the same day. The bandages come off at about five days and they often regain full range of motion by a week and pain settles quickly. The pins and needles will improve over time, but if they are permanent prior to the operation, they can take a long time to recover. Sadly, the muscle wasting in the hand does not recover, and this is why if there's any sign of muscle wasting, we recommend urgent surgery to prevent further deterioration and loss of function in the hand.